Okay, sorry for not uploading in a long while. I couldn't think of anything to upload. But, um, so far no one has made a good demo of the X apps. That's what I'm doing. X apps. So this is my X apps demo. Um, now this is not going to be much, um, just saying. Because... This is technically Totem, and this is technically Get It. Except so this is X Player, and this is X Edit. So it's Totem, and it's Get It, but not. Don't know why it does that. Um, Linux Mint's new X apps are not much different than the normal original apps totem and get it i'm switching to them full time anyway <laughs> so totem um so the yeah. For from Totem, this is videos. It's okay. Um, now Clem told me in the comments of the Linux Mint. Um. In the comments of the Linux Mint blog, I asked him, uh, him for a copy of XPlayer. Um, he gladly told me how to compile XPlayer and XEdit. And he also um, informed me that XPlayer is not able to play WebM files. So, yeah. Um... So I do not recommend installing XPlayer unless you're a computer enthusiast like myself. So yeah, basically the basic functionality of Get It. It's all. This is actually not a fork of Get It, as many of you might expect. This is actually a fork of Pluma, which is a fork of Get It. Um, but it does, does imitate the Get It interface quite well. So, what are the goals of X apps? Well, Linux Mint's X apps are designed to um, prevent are basically designed to fix the problem that um, most text that text editors, video viewers, um, and um, text editors, video viewers, etc., are usually bound to a specific desktop environment rather than being generic. Um, generic. For example, the old Get It was designed for GNOME. The Thumb was also designed for GNOME, I believe. Um, I'm not sure about it. Um, that. Um. So what the next is doing is that they are forking. Um, the old GNOME applications um, so that they will look good in just about any desktop environment and they will work well in just about every 
Drinky Data Desktop environment. Um, and they are designed to be generic. So this is another way that Linux Mint is trying to accommodate the daily user rather than um, smart people <laughs> like me. But I still like Linux Mint. It still has tons of features. Um, It's right here. Access will be a collection of generic GTK3 apps, which can be used as default desktop components of Cin in Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. They will allow us to maintain a native look and a good level of integration because they will replace the GNOME applications, which now look foreign, using header bars and a distinctive layout. Long term, the XR uh, project will allow us to innovate and develop new features in the applications themselves, which they can do via packages, forks, it is or forks like the Make Ink apps, because it was a bit too costly. Example of an X app, although I already showed you an example of an X app. Um, And, and they're saying, how does it help us? Uh, it's based on Pluma, which is for, from good at 2.30. So you'll be all right at home if you've been using it, using either. It uses GTK3, so it supports high DPI. It's generic, so it looks native. Um, under the hood, it does not depend on no or mate, or does not is not based on their preferences. No users can install get at 3.18 from the repositories. Um, and not only for them, but for other distributions. Um, and not for Cinnamon, but for mate and XOC as well. That makes it um, work better when using multiple um, things on it. So it basically makes it easier for Linux Mint to um, develop. It makes it easier for both Linux Mint or, and um, the end user, which is a nice idea. Now, the only criticism I have seen regarding it is that one person was talking about um, how they didn't want applications to be generic. Patrick Mooney for this name. Um, people who aren't idiots, they, they shouldn't be called idiots. They should be called um, early users. Um, but yes, um, he says that um, he's an expert and he switches between three desktop environments, which installs their own generic text editor, which is all, and they're all called text editor. Um, the app should have a name. Him. But the, him. They said that X apps will probably solve. In response, Clem said that X apps will probably solve the problem. And and um, also, we will start distinguishing between apps of the same name soon. Feature I'd like to see in Cinnamon Three for sure. And also another, I never actually noticed this. If you hate when that happens, if you have to, um, does everything in Xedit, it will say Xedit. So that way you can um, distinguish between Xedit and Gedit. I also notice that if you open Totem, then by default there will be a Totem icon there. In videos. It's just black. So those are some nice distinctions you can make if you install both 
to find out which is which until the accent applies that um, 